Let's look at the law and gospel of Joseph tests his brothers. The bad news, what we hear we're supposed to do, what we don't do, well, we are all sinful and we need to grow in our faith and actions. You look at Joseph and his brothers and his family. Joseph wasn't perfect. His brothers weren't perfect. Nobody was perfect. And when we see ourselves, we definitely aren't perfect. And we need to keep on growing. And we see Joseph's brothers grow over the years. Uh, they were connected to God in his word. Uh, and apparently they, they got a chance to grow in that. We need to grow. God tells you, grow. Wherever you are, you grow in your faith and your knowledge. It's not just in your head. It's not just what you know and can recite about God, but it's in your faith and your actions. And you grow by taking in God's Word. So that's what God is telling us to do. Grow. Take in God's Word and grow. He's also saying that we're never perfect. Uh, Joseph wasn't perfect. Uh, I'm sure as he was testing his brothers, uh, some of it was good and some of it maybe was lack of trust and he must have been tempted. No matter how we do, we never get perfect. That's why we always need Jesus. Um, I like to think of a pretty good family member, but I'm not a perfect husband. I'm not a perfect father. I do well, and then I, I fall. And that's why it's so good that we have the gospel from this story as well. Uh, God loves us enough that he tests us, that, that he, he allows things in our life where we get to practice our faith, practice love, and we get to grow through that. That's how much he loves us. Uh, somebody who doesn't, a parent, um, an adult who doesn't love us, doesn't discipline us, doesn't test us. But our teachers, our, our adults that love us, our parents, they test us because they want us to grow. God gives us forgiveness so we can forgive others. For all the times that we messed up, Jesus lived perfectly in our place, died on the cross. So as forgiven children of God, then we can be like Joseph and actually forgive others and let it go. You know, if there's been family members that have mean to, let it go. Forgive them, whether they ask for forgiveness, whether they can make up for it or not. We forgive them because Jesus has paid for every sin. Our testing and growth is made perfect in heaven. That's where we look ultimately to be free of our own sin with our family and to have one big family uh, with our God. Uh, we realize Jesus, he passed every test for us. Joseph's brothers kind of passed the test. But not perfectly. They still wondered. Jesus passed every test for us, lived a perfect life, and so we have heaven as our home with our perfect family forever. And then even our family members that are in Jesus, even if it's our own relatives, our relationship with, with them will be even more perfect at that time. So summary, big takeaway, we can test each other and help us ourselves grow but only Jesus gives us that power to grow and he passes every test perfectly in our place.